Japanese Defense Minister Itsunori Onodera was briefed about the Eastern Defense Command. Later, the Japanese Defense Minister engaged in an inspection tour of the oil tank complex at the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation in the China Harbor. The Japanese Defense Minister left to Hambantota aboard a helicopter after inspecting the Ikasuchi Japanese ship anchored at the Trincomalee Harbor. Itsunori Onodera has been serving as the Japanese Defense Minister since 2017 and is a member of the Liberal Democratic Party of Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. He served as the Japanese Defense Minister in 2012 and was a pioneer in establishing and strengthening the high-powered defense system in Japan. Now Japan has come to this country and they have looked at our developments and our relationship with India. This is not out of affection. Japan has now become a stakeholder of the Asian 3 Plus group. Then Japan will do their best to take advantage of Sri Lanka through India. We have to be tactful. We weren't tactful under the former government, nor this. Especially Sri Lanka cannot neglect the fact that there is definitely an Asiatic rise, which means there is a rise of Asian uh, countries uh, such as China, Australia and especially Japan. So what Sri Lanka is now trying to do is engage with all these countries. And in the process, what Sri Lanka is doing is, as many people say, is that we are trying to now balance countries. Or, for example, uh, if Matala Airport is now, there is this idea that it, it should be given into a, uh, to an Indian interest. Uh, there is clearly China has Chinese uh, company along with Sri Lankan companies now uh, uh, collaboratively running uh, Hambantota. Sri Lanka as a small power is facing this situation and I think what we lack in our foreign policy is a strategic vision of seeing how this geopolitical contestation will play out in the next five to ten years. It, it cannot be brought down to a contestation between India and China. There is the United States which is involved, there is Australia which is involved and increasingly you can see Japanese interests very much at play in, the, in this geopolitical rivalry. So it is a regional and a global rivalry. So for a, for a country like Sri Lanka, a small power, manage, it's not anymore about balancing it, it's about how you manage it to the best interest of this country. So that is where I think we are lacking seriously a foreign policy which is, which, which is well thought out, well planned, especially with a strategic vision. So if we don't, if we do ad hoc uh, agreements, ad hoc uh, treaties without proper consultation, it will seriously compromise Sri Lanka's national security, our economic interests, and it, it, it will seriously challenge Sri Lanka's people's own sovereignty. So, which is a problem, which should be addressed immediately. If not, what will happen is we will start succumbing to the geopolitical pressures faster. The general public of the country did not provide the mandate to the government for them to let foreign nations help themselves to geopolitically important locations of our nation. While all of these giveaways are done in the guise of investments, the government now plans on giving away the Palali Airport, the cement factory in Kankasanthure and the Matala International Airport to India, the Colombo Port, the Hambantota Port and the Trincomalee Port to Singapore, China and Japan. The rulers of this nation have to comprehend the geopolitical power struggle that is going on centering our nation. Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad said he plans to defer or cancel some 22 billion US dollars worth of Chinese backed infrastructure projects after explaining his objections to China's leaders. US President Donald Trump's former personal lawyer Michael Cohen pleaded guilty to tax fraud, campaign finance violations and bank fraud in federal court in New York yesterday. The question at hand now is, who do they think they are to distribute these strategically important locations to foreign nations? Is this how they reciprocate the faith placed in them by the general public?